Hello, Daddy Gamer here again. So in this week's episode, we're going to be designing one of these monuments. So these are very famous monuments around the world. They've been sent in by Martin, age seven. And what he's done is he's drawn and designed three, well, four things on there. But the three main monuments that he's designed, the Eiffel Tower, the Statue of Liberty, which he's called the Liberty Statue, and the Jesus Christ the Redeemer. Now what we thought we'd do, what I would do, is design first of all the Eiffel Tower. He spelt it Eiffel, and I think it's back to the front there, but that's fine. It's a tower in Paris, isn't it, in France? And I'll try and give you some information about it as I go along. We're going to do this in Minecraft. Now we're going to start off on a, a sky block, so we're going to be really high up. Now the real Eiffel Tower isn't on a sky block in real life. It's in Paris which is in France and it's on a big plane and you can see it for miles around as you're probably aware my Minecraft skills are very technical so I hope you can uh, follow this along at home I've got my uh, controller here so what we'll do we'll start with the stone brick stairs now in real life the Eiffel Tower was built in 1889 so it's about 130 odd years old um, and it's been standing all that time but it's very very complicated the one in real life this one's a bit of a simplified version of it. As I said, I've sort of like created a dirt track sticking out from my sky block. I'm going to try and build the, start off with the stone brick stairs and build the bottom of it. So it's, it's kind of have, has an arch at the bottom. I'll try and throw a few pictures on the screen just to show you what it looks like. And it was the original one, the real one in Paris, was designed by Gustave Eiffel. Gustav! He was an absolutely exceptional architect. So here we go, right, we've got one, we've got one stick of the base. Uh, you can see that it's just being constructed there. I'm going to stick that one on there. I think it's going light again, which is good. Um, the, yeah, the, the real Eiffel Tower is uh, it's huge, it's absolutely enormous. And it was made out of 18,000 metallic parts, which, if you think about it, it's just incredible how anybody can imagine and conceive such a huge monument for Paris is beyond me. The first bit, you can kind of see what I'm about to throw up on the screen there to, to show you roughly how the real thing looked in its early construction. And as I said, it was in Paris, and it's got, in real life, it's got a massive lift that goes from the bottom of it all the way to the top. And uh, Gustav himself, uh, he built like a, an apartment in the top, which I think is like in a secret apartment. But he, uh, he built that. And now you can, if you go and visit the Eiffel Tower, you can actually go up in the lift. I think you need a special permit or a special ticket, and you can go into the into the apartment itself and have a look around and if you don't want to take the lift you could go up the 1665 steps all the way to the top which i don't think i could do i think um i think i'd be very tired when i got to the, the top of it and most people do take the lift and another thing about the eiffel tower is that when their uh, materials get cold they shrink when they get hot they expand so an amazing fact about the Eiffel Tower is that the Eiffel Tower, when it gets cold, it actually shrinks by six inches, which is about that much. So the top of it comes down. The top of it is actually shorter after it's got cold than it, it is when it's warm or at ambient temperature. We better get on with this and just carry on building it. Now, we're along the top, we'll try and just increase the size of it because we need to get it bigger. It needs to be bigger because this is too short. I'm finding this too short at the moment. Oh, I've done that again. I pressed all the buttons. I pressed all the buttons now I can't see where I am. If we're we, uh, very careful, we can just place some more blocks on there and then bring it across and we'll make this as high as possible. We'll try and make it exactly the same height as the Eiffel Tower, but in Minecraft world, or on a sky block. I don't know why I ended up building it so high in a sky block. I can see birds up here. I th Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God, I think a bird just doody done me. Let's see, where are we? Now, let's just build this bit up. We need to build the middle bit up. This is going to be very much like the Eiffel Tower, and I'll show you the Eiffel Tower again on screen once I've finished it, just to show you how close I got to the to the final product 
uh, stick some more stairs on there and some down there not sure hmm. now if you like this if you think this is a good build if you think it's a good likeness to the monument itself then you can do the usual and comment like subscribe if you want to sub subscribe and just leave me a comment underneath again i know i'm very advanced uh, very advanced with stone blocks i think they're andesites again or is it just stone it's just stone it's not andesite i think i'll do another video where we make andesite and polished andesite and all that kind of caper oh no this one oh, i made a mistake there just coming out I want to make it 3D now. This is getting up now to the top of the Eiffel Tower. We're going to send it straight up to make a big tower at the top. So this is where that apartment would probably be in real life. But I'm not going to put the apartment on. That would be a little bit... That would take a while. Now I'll just step back and have a look at it. There's the Eiffel Tower. Isn't it good? And just for comparison, you can see on the screen now, the uh, original. I'll just take the top off. I think I just want to make it a little bit taller. Yeah, let's make it a little bit taller. As tall as we can get it, but we don't want to be hitting the top of the world, do we? But we'll um, certainly make it a little bit taller. And there it is. So that's uh, today's craft. And there's that alarm again outside, which is uh, really annoying. But we'll ignore it for now. Uh, we've got an apple there to eat. I don't think I need an apple. I think I'll have a real apple after this because it's been uh, tiring. Yeah finishing this build but there we go let's have a spin around it and as ever if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down and if you want to make any comments or suggestions write them in the comment section thank you thanks for watching and see you again next time